The simple tool creates KDP Halloween coloring books you can sell on Amazon. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how. Every October, demand for Halloween themed books spikes, especially for coloring books, which make great gifts for holidays. And here's the truth. If you publish at the right time, you can write that demand, not just this year, but every single year moving forward. The problem is that most people overcomplicate the process. They think they need design skills, intricate complicated software or weeks of editing but what if you could use a single tool to generate unique high quality pages fast and turn them into books that buyers actually want well that's exactly what i'll walk you through today you're going to see how this tool works why halloween is still one of the best niches to enter and how to set yourself up for sales that can keep paying you long after October ends. Now, if this is your first time here, my name is Jeff, and this channel is all about becoming self-sufficient when it comes to making money online. So if this sounds like you, feel free to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, let's get right to it. Now, the Halloween niche that we're gonna be focusing on today is called the Halloween Color by Number or the Halloween Color by Number book, also known as Pixel Coloring Books. Now we can see right here, total results, 667. So not a lot of people focusing on creating this book. Now, when I'm looking into these niches and seeing if it's something that's gonna be worth my time, something that's gonna be profitable, I really look for three specific things. Number one has to do with the competition. So there's no point putting a book up in an overly competitive niche. So what I'm looking for are search results of about a thousand or less, which basically tells me that the niche that I'm looking at is not gonna to be too competitive, which means that there's gonna be a better chance at getting ranked on the first few pages of Amazon so that my book can be seen and it can be sold. So not very competitive here. You're not really gonna need KDP ads to boost your book's rankings up the first page. You can really let it go organically, but since we're already close to Halloween season, I would advise that you might wanna think about implementing some KDP ads so that your book can be seen right away on the first couple pages so that it can start selling and start establishing a rank. Now, if we look at the books, sometimes these plugins don't work down here, but I have another one from Titans Quick View. We can see right here, 13,000 BSR, 52,000 BSR. Now, step number two has to do with the demand. There's no point putting a book up on Amazon if no one is looking for that type of book. So what I'm looking for to judge demand is gonna be three or more KDP books that all have a bestsellers rank of 300,000 or below, which just tells me that these books are consistently selling, which means that there's gotta be some sort of demand here. So if we actually go row by row and look at these books, what I'm looking for are not sponsored products like these ones right here. So we're gonna start with this book. Now, when I hover over it, under publisher, I'm looking for independently published, which basically means that it's a KDP book and a bestsellers rank of under 300,000. So 67,159. This is an example of a book that's selling well in this niche. This Halloween color by number independently published with the bestsellers rank 100,000. So that's two books. Now let's go to the next row. This one publisher, not independently published. It has a good bestsellers rank, but it's just not one that I'm gonna consider. Now when we get to this stained glass Halloween color by number, independently published with a bestsellers rank of 39,000. So that's already three books right there. That satisfies the second step. But I always like to look through the entirety of the first page just to see the depth of how well these books are selling. So here's another one, 66,000. Another one, 129,000. So these books are starting to sell right now. This one, 191,000. This one right here, 12,000. Another 12,000. And let's just go closer to the end of the first page. Notice there's different types of themes here. You could do Halloween gnomes, and this one's selling pretty well, 63,000. You can do the bold and easy style. This one's ranked at 75,000. And if we go to the end of the first page, this one right here, mosaic art, Halloween mandalas, color by number, ranked at 371,000. So as you can see, as long as you get on the first page, you're gonna have a fair chance at getting your book seen and getting it sold. Now, if we scroll back up here and look at the niche score, we're gonna see a 72. And then number three is a simple one, basically validates the first two steps, and that's gonna be a niche score provided by Titans Quick View. And that is just a score 
that I'm looking for of at least 50. If we look at the niche score, pretty high at a 72. Check out the Titans Pro analysis. Demand is pretty high right now, seven, and opportunity score is a seven as well. And if we check out the best sellers rank, on average on the first page, 388,000. So now we know that competition is low, demand is high. Niche score backs that up with a 72. Everything is pointing towards the direction that there's a lot of potential for this niche. So why don't we go look at an example and see what this type of book looks like. Now, if we take a look at this example, this is the color by number mystery mosaics, spooky vibes. This one has a bestsellers rank currently of 217,000. So from Titans quick view, we can see that's good for 30 day sales of 48 to 72 copies per month as of right now. And the 30 day royalties of a couple hundred dollars. Now I noticed that Titans quick view seems to underestimate the royalties here. So I'm going to show you the way that I actually compute the royalties. But before that, let's look at some of the book details. So with this type of book, you can price this at about $9.99. This one's priced at $10. Typically, it's going to be 8.5 by 11 inches, which is the typical coloring book size. And the great thing about this niche is that you don't really have to create a lot of pages. So about 40 to 50 pages, call it good. So total print length is 88 pages for this book. Now let's look at the interior. So this is basically what it is. You have one page that is your color palette. It has all your colors right here with the numbers or the letters and that designates to this page where as you can see there are letters and numbers in these grids, these boxes and once the customer is done filling it in, it turns into an actual image that's revealed at the end. So basically same thing, mystery number two, and then there you go. And that's pretty much the book. All you need to do is about, like I said, 40 of these pages and you'll be good to go. Now looking at the back cover, you can see what the images actually would look like once it's completed. Now taking a look at the sales graph, you can see that the sales are starting to do a lot better right now as of probably last month. And these numbers are going to drop even more, which means that sales are gonna be even better coming into this Halloween season. Now, if we take a look at another example, this one's called Halloween Mystery Mosaic Color by Number for Adults. This one has a better bestsellers rank at 12,207, even has a number two in Mosaic Crafting and 30 day sales. We can see 528 to 792 copies per month. Now, this book has a price of a little bit higher, $11.96. And that is because I notice here 208 pages. So a lot more coloring images included in this one, 100 pages of pixel art magic in three unique styles. So if we visit KDP's printing cost and royalty calculator, I've already put in all the details here, eight and a half by 11 inches, 208 page count, $11.96 list price. Submit that. We're gonna see on the amazon.com marketplace an estimated royalty of $2.64. So if we take the calculator, let's put in $2.64. We're gonna multiply that by the 30 day sales right here, 792. And when we do that, we're gonna get over $2,000 per month in estimated royalties. So a little bit higher than Titans Quick View's 30 day royalty estimate right here. I find this to be a little bit more accurate because I'm using KDP's official royalty calculator and printing cost website. Now, if we look at the interior of this book, it's gonna be similar thing, color palette with all your colors, same thing here. And then the coloring image here on the back cover, you can see what it would look like once finished. All right, so now that you've seen the demand for these books and why they work so well, the next step is the fun part, actually creating the pages. And here's the thing, you don't need to spend hours drawing or editing. With the tool I'm about to show you, you can generate high quality color by number pages in just minutes. It's fast, it's simple, and it gives you the kind of polished results that people actually want to buy. So let me show you exactly how this works. So here's the color by number generator tool that I use to create these books. It's actually a very simple interface. There's not a lot of options here, which means you can't really go wrong. All you really need to do is focus on providing images that it can generate these pages for you. So I actually did a search on Creative Fabrica to look for some images that I could use for this coloring book. And I found this one called Halloween Lips Clip Art. 
and going through it. It looks like there's a couple of these images that could do very, very well. So I decided to just download it and give it a try. So here are all the files. I'm just gonna drag and drop it into this image section right here. You're gonna see there's 12 files right there. Now book size, depending on the type of book that you're gonna make, I would suggest either eight and a half by 11 or 8.5 by 8.5 inches. Now you can go ahead and create this and go back to this section here and make edits. So if we just hit create, we can see the first image didn't really turn out that well. Here is the actual image and here's what it turned out to be. But if we look at the next one, we can see this one turned out quite well. Now there's a couple options here. You can change the shape. So if we do circle, this is what it looks like. We can do triangle, hexagon, which looks really good there, as well as diamond. So you can play around with the shapes and create different types of puzzles. Now, let's go back to square. Let me show you the simple here. So when you do simple, the grids get bigger. We just saw medium. And then if we do detailed, which is a 62 by 62 grid, you can see the detail here. The other thing that you can do is change the colors. So by default, it's 24. If we go down to 12, you can see that we lose a lot of definition here. Now we do 36, it looks better. And then 48, really detailed. So depending on the type of book that you're making and how complicated it is, and if it's for adults versus kids, this is where this option is gonna be very useful for you. Now, as far as these other options, I don't really mess with these. One is how thick these lines are. You can play with them and you can also play with the color of these lines. So if I change this to white, you're gonna see that the entire grid, the lines turn white right there, but you don't really want it that white. So if we go back here, change it to a darker gray. There you go, that looks a little bit better. Now let's go through some more of these images. Here's one right here, turned out very, very good. Another one right here. This one's okay. I don't know if I'd include it in a coloring book. This one turned out okay. Once again, I don't know if I'd include it. This one I would, turned out really, really, really good. Here's another one that I might not include. And these ones, so if there's some images that you don't wanna include, you can just hit the trash can button right here and take them out. For example, these ones, these ones I like. And then this one, I don't really like that. This one, I don't really like that. But as you can see, it's very easy to do this. It doesn't take a lot of time. You can just pick and choose the ones that turn out really, really good. Now, if there's like, for example, a pixel here, this white one that you think should be changed, you can look for the corresponding color right here, which this one looks like number one. Click on this pencil tab go to number one crimson red, and then color that in. Easy as that, you can do that with every block here. Kind of fine tune the image, just in case there's any pixels here that didn't come out exactly how you wanted it. Now, when we click on number right here, this is the grid that goes into your coloring book. And then also the palette right here is included in there. So these are the two pages that are included in your book and you just download both of these. So very easy, go to number, and go ahead and download it like that. And really that's just the name of the game. You can go back to create a Fabrica and find more images, put them into the generator here. Now what you wanna do is head over to Canva and create a custom size. If you don't have an account, you can create a free one. The link is down below. And this book is gonna be 8.5 by 8.5 inches. Now I'm not gonna include bleed, so I'm not gonna add the margins here. So create that new design. And then you can just drag and drop those files into Canva. It'll look like this, but we can go ahead and clean this up, add that new page, and then make the first page. You can do the palette. The second page, just put it right there. Now you can just stretch this out like this. But really what you need are these margins right here. So if I go ahead and put this, I believe this is for page two. If I arrange this to the corner here, drag it out to the opposite corner and position it to the back, we can see that we don't really wanna put our palette right here. We wanna kinda put it off to the side here. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller, just like that, center it. And then there you go. Now, if you wanna make your palette bigger, you can go ahead and just stretch it out. And then same thing here, I'm gonna go ahead and put it to the corner, drag it out. I'm gonna position it to the back. Now actually, since this is page one, what you wanna do is add a page and move this up. Now you actually wanna start your puzzles here on the second page, because if you think about opening up a book, it's gonna be the back side. So what you wanna do is you wanna flip flop this. So you wanna move this margin down here. You wanna move the other margin right here because this will be the left side. So just do that. 
and then do the same here move it over here and just make this adjustment position it to the back and we're just going to go ahead and make this adjustment there you go this one's going to go down here and this one we're going to copy this paste it here position back and just make it big as you can there you go same with this position it to the back make sure it's lined up there and you want to stay clear of the purple areas so there you go there it is and you just keep doing this until you have your 80 pages and once you have your 80 pages all you need to do is hit share hit download download this as a pdf print you can also flatten pdf if you want make sure it's all pages and then what you want to do is you want to choose cmyk because it's the best for professional printing but if you don't have this option and you're only using the free canva you can choose rgb and then hit download and your book's interior will be complete ready to be uploaded to kdp now if you're interested in this color by number generator keep in mind i am using the highest version of this generator but if you want to check it out for yourself you want to start creating these books i'm going to leave the link in the description down below so there you have it, Halloween coloring books created with a simple tool that saves you time while helping you publish something that people will genuinely enjoy. Now, if you wanna take this a step further and see the full process of creating and publishing books on Amazon, you can download my free KDP royalty roadmap. I've linked it down below. It's gonna give you the step-by-step -step structure so you're never guessing what to do next. And as a quick reminder, results will always vary. No one can ever guarantee your earnings because your outcome depends on your effort timing and execution but these niches this timing and the process i just showed you it's as close as it gets to stacking the odds in your favor if this video helped you see what's possible make sure to leave a like subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss my next video with that being said thanks for watching bye for now